Hey there, Virgo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a practicing witch and a tarot card reader. If you would like to order your own private reading, which doesn't have to be about love, down below, please do so. All of my information is down there. Um, But this will be a general love reading for the week of May 25th. And I've gotten questions about How do you find out what your other placements are? You can get a free natal chart just about anywhere. Um, Just Google the term. I know astrology.com has them for free. And I would highly recommend doing that. You're going to find out a lot about yourself. Uh, Okay, let's get started. So your oracle reading for the week is Sea Serpent. And... This is about cleansing and healing and putting yourself back together. I, a lot of you have just gone through a breakup and it was with someone who was pretty awful, actually. So I do think you're on a better path right now, but I do think that things are a little chaotic. Just like the Four of Wands here, there's an instability going on as you try to find your footing and figure out what you want. Um, Plus, the energy from the bottom of the deck was the devil. Now, the devil in this deck does not look so bad. He's just kind of tempting those two people. But you may have been with a, a smooth talker, someone who promised you the world and then didn't deliver. Um, I'm not getting the sense that this was like an abusive person, but maybe emotionally abusive. But this wasn't a person who had your best interests in mind. All right, we're going to check out the current situation, your energy, their energy, and then the outcome. So we have the fool in reverse. And to me, what this is saying is this person would like to start up again with you. I think the two of you may not be talking right now, and they would like that fresh new start that the Fool would bring. However, I don't think you are cooperating with that, which is definitely a good move. Um, I think you've figured out that they're not going to give you what you are looking for. And we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which you may have at one point seen them as your future, as your soulmate, as someone you wanted to build something with, particularly something that could last for a very long time. And now I think that you have come to the conclusion that that's not going to happen, which is painful. So let's look at your energy a little closer. We have the four of pentacles along with the two of, mm, I think that's wands. Yes. The two of wands. (laughs) Oh, the coffee hasn't kicked in yet. So the two of wands is manifesting and figuring out what path to pursue. Um, It's also just kind of, it's a contemplative kind of energy, trying to choose a path, trying to choose a direction, um, what you want to take with you, what you want to leave behind. And then we have the four of pentacles. Um, So what I'm getting here is some of you may have given this person money. Um, They may have, you know, lived with you for a while if they were in between, you know, jobs or they, they never had money to take you out and you, you ended up financing all of the, the time together, something along those lines. There's a money element here. That's what I'm picking up intuitively, but there's also, um, there's a withholding here. Uh, I feel like you are trying to hold on to yourself. Um, you're trying not to give any more energy, give any more of your time and treasure to this person. I think you're kind of done. So there's a holding on tight. You see how, you know, this person is clutching those coins and this doesn't have to be, um, just money. It it could just be emotions. It could be time. Time is money. Um, you may feel like you've wasted your time on this person. Okay. 
So we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Um, I feel like you put a lot of work into this. Um, you are doing the lion's share of, you know, the emotional work in this relationship. You are the one planning. You are the one taking care of them, giving this person what they needed and wanted. And that was exhausting after a while. Um, I think you were holding on. That nine of wands is definitely battered and bruised and holding on and trying to do everything that they can to make it work. But I think it just got to the point where it was just too much. No one could do that much to keep a relationship afloat. It was exhausting and overwhelming. So I think you finally ended up letting go. And then we have, yeah, letting go the six of swords. Um, this is heading out. I gotta go see you. Wouldn't want to be you. Um, along with the eight of wands in reverse. So this means that maybe that exodus was slower. Maybe this is happening in stages where you're just inching away from this person. Now, some of you have just completely left like, bye. I don't have any more time to fool with you. This can also mean a cut in communication. The eight of wands is sometimes that fast messaging back and forth between someone and you may have just dropped off the face of the earth. They can't find you anywhere. Okay. Let's look at your person's energy. So we have the king of swords. Um, in reverse, this is kind of the nasty side of the king of swords. Um, already he can be kind of blunt and he's just that sort of person who's so logical and so focused on, I don't know, what he's doing and what's going on, that he doesn't have time to emotionally manage other people. He's just kind of like, okay, look, here's what I think in the upright position. In this position, he's downright nasty. He can just say the awfulest things to you and not even bat an eye. And we have the Seven of Swords here. By the way, don't get caught up in gender. This could be definitely a female. We have the Seven of Swords and yuck. That is sneaky, nasty behavior. Sneaking around behind your back doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing. Then we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Three of Pentacles. And you have to can take a look at both of those together. Uh, the Ten of Cups is that happily ever after. They're spread out on the blanket. You know, there's that rainbow color. There's the cat and the kids and the, the couple. They're very happy. Um, but the Three of Pentacles is about work. And in the reverse, it's not collaborating with someone. It's not willing to work on, on something. So they may have talked a good game about Happily Ever After, but they sure as hell didn't work on it. And I think you figured that out. And once you did, you were like, okay, I got to go. And then we have the Ace of Swords, which to me, this means, um, it's usually a revelation or a truth in the reverse position. It's someone lying all the time. It's being like one hell of a liar. And the Seven of Wands is defensive energy. So maybe when you called them out on a lie, they got right up in your face and they're like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Why are you checking up on me? Why are you so this? Why are you so that? Instead of actually dealing with, you know, all of the lying that they were doing, which that's exhausting. Let's look at the outcome. Now, this is good for you. If you are getting the Ten of Swords, which the Tens are an end of a cycle, so bye-bye, just like up here, end of a cycle, bye-bye. You have, um, in the reverse position, you're letting go of that hurt, that pain. It's going to take some time, though, but eventually you're going to end up in a Nine of Pentacles place where you're content and happy. She's in that garden. The money might be pretty good. You may be focusing on work. She's, you know, living her best life here and not worrying about this jerk. So, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please like and subscribe. 
leave me a note down below. Like I, um, I mentioned earlier, if this, if you're looking for your other placements, please, you know, get a free natal chart for yourself. I highly recommend doing that. You're going to find out a lot of useful information. All right. Thanks so much. And I will see you back here next week.